Guys, welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video, and I'm excited today. So obviously we've got a brand new character to test here, guys. We've got Chip and Dale to test, and also, guys, um, probably starting for Monday next week, what I'm going to do, and I did this a while ago, but a lot of you have asked me to do updated ones. I'm going to do a top five tier list of every single class. So I'm basically going to give you a bit of a rundown on who I think you should work on in these four roles here. So for example, I'd go on to tank, then I'd say definitely work on Clawhauser because, or um, definitely work on Slinky because, and I like to do these with very, very quick and efficient tips. So I'm gonna be doing that next week for you. So guys, do comment down below, give me some honorable mentions of each character that you think would work your, is your favorite in each team but again this is my opinion guys and from what i've learned from the games to try and help you all so anyway let's get into today's video guys and we've got a beautiful new hero here from chippendale now i'm excited for this because obviously we did this yesterday and we were we were looking about this character and quite a lot of people were saying that his skills sound a bit boring and i generally do think they sound boring so what i'm excited about here is actually getting involved and seeing if chip and dale are going to kind of like stand up to the level which they should um so that's what i'm excited for to see if they're gonna just be as good as the previous characters because i know sarah maxed out was godly so yeah so that's what i'm gonna do today we've also got raya in the prize wall crate here guys now again there hasn't particularly been any change to the prize wall just make sure that it hasn't actually started yet. It starts tomorrow. So obviously I'll do a little video on it tomorrow, guys, and we'll review the quest and everything like that. So if there's anything new, um, see what the hero quests are. But my next quest is going to be trying to get her up to the max level, guys, as I've been doing with all of the um, prize war characters as they've been coming. So I'm, I always try and get all the prize war characters maxed out so we can grab the 5,000 diamonds. And to be honest with you, unless they've nerfed the prize wall, it's normally incredibly easy to actually do that. So I'm intrigued to see where we're going to be able to get to with her and see what we're going to be able to do. I, I love the prize wall events. It's been a while since we've had one. I hope they bring like a Christmas themed character out, guys, you know, in the Christmas update. Or maybe even potentially bring back the costumes or something like that. It would be quite interesting to see, guys. So I think the Coliseum and Arena has reset now as well. Yes, it has. Week, week one again, guys. Oh, I did quite well this time. Fantastic damage is increased. That's a mad one. Then the arena is always the same. Continue through that. Look at that. Three big ones. Lovely. Fantastic damage is increased. So, yeah. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to let them stack up a little bit so I can do another big video because I know you liked that. I did it before. So anyway, let's jump straight in, guys, and try Chippendale. Now, we've got the Hammer here, who's obviously the absolute god of the game. And I wanted to ask... Well, first of all, let's test it on Ariel because Ariel's quite a nice character to 1v1. So obviously, she heals herself and then we can get a nice assessment of chip and dale here so i i'm not exactly thrilled for these characters here but you know they are new characters i'm excited but again like i said yesterday none of their moves excite me as much as like sarah did or zeus did or bolt did but i could be proven wrong let's see the first impressions of these two beautiful new characters so fight yep take off of auto so that there was the see that there when they fly in so they do initial damage as well and they're energized here Fif so that bullet does 50 why did it do 50 million 45 million damage than the acorns so their normal attack does about a million to so say around 2 million here which is quite cool but then this does look, look how much damage oh they this she stopped it so the acorns do quite a nice amount actually than that 50 million acorns so when when they fire that zap i think it's called zappy it is doing about 50 million damage which is absolutely ridiculous but their normal attack is pretty lame 
It's not as good as Bolt's laser or Zeus's lightning. There's no cool effect on it. It's just da ding, da ding, da ding. Acorn, 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 acorn. So first impressions. I'm not thrilled by their default attack. So let's just try and fight. Um, uh, maybe we just go because obviously what I like to do is pit them against a really difficult team. But I don't think these characters are going to do very well, you know. They're, they're not screaming to me like sort of um, any of the other characters I've used previously were. So I'm going to go to the bottom here. Let's just fight. Hmm. All of his characters are so good now. Let's just pit him against the Darkwing Duck here and see what they do. So we get the double shot there. So that's... Why are they tiny? <laughs> that's where the damage lies, guys. Is because if you saw when I was obviously putting them against Ariel here, when they do that fly move, look at the damage. Look. So that did 50 million damage to start off with. And then they come in and fire that, which is another 50 million damage. So, majority of the time, they're probably always going to be able to take at least one person out. 50 million damage. Hit. Hit. So, yeah. Does someone else need to be on their team for them to use their special? Um, I can't even remember what their special was, you know. Let's have a look. Chip and Dale chill on their allies. Okay, yeah. So, they don't have any move, which is obviously going to be an instant kill. But what we could do here to see to test them properly, because it's... Because, yeah, this character is, to be honest with you, probably one of the most normal characters that have been added for a very long time. So if I do go for a bit of an easier battle, maybe like this one here, and I use Chippendale and I use someone like Bolt, um, what will be quite nice to see here is obviously, see the bullets come in there. So even just from that, actually, it was quite nice to see all those bullets kind of dot into the enemies and do quite a lot of damage. So again, there. Uh, so it, f it actually shoots at everybody there. So everybody basically died there before the match even started. So if we go back down to just say this one, and we just put Chip and Dale in, it looks like the best thing is that. Nah, no, that's mental. So the best thing with Chip and Dale, I know I'm versing characters on a lower level than me guys to test this out, but it's the fact that they actually shoot at everybody. And it's really quite satisfying. So that's obviously going to be the basically the main attraction to Chippendale. Is that they've got this one move which can kill everybody at the start. So imagine if you had Chippendale, right? Da -da -da -da, killing everybody. And you paired them with Gonzo. Because he does a start move. Um, and you paired them with... Like... Oh my mind. <laughs> and you paired them with... Let's try that again. It's quite interesting to see. I'm going to do it on a bit of a harder team here. So we're going to do King Louis. So then what we could do is Mulan. He's going to fire the rocket off. And then what we could also do is um, Gonzo. So Gonzo is going to roll in. So what, what we're able to do here is form quite a cool little team where we can have all these characters doing little hits to start off with. And... Potentially doing some pretty solid damage. Where, where is my Gonzo? So for example here guys, look. Roll, rocket, shoot. So we're having these big moves happening all at the start. So if you had all these characters onto a really good level, you could probably wipe out most teams straight away. So again here. Roll, shoot, rocket. Boom, boom, boom. Damage, damage, damage. All around, just constant, constant parade of initial hits. So I'd like to see something. So if we do versus a team which is quite high up here, and we go in with that same approach, where we are trying to do as much sort of initial damage as possible, I reckon we could probably get away with... Um, I, I off the top of my head, guys, I can't think of anyone else that does damage straight away. Because also, there's still quite a lot of characters here, guys, I haven't used because it's a nightmare. You know, I'm slowly trying to level up all my characters to yellow, but then I'll do that and then a new character comes out. Then another new character comes out. You know, so it's, it's all a bit of a nightmare. It's all a little bit mad. So let's just fight again here and see if they can do it here. So shoot the bullets. 
Ooh. So it didn't kill him all instantly there, but what you did see was the amount of damage that it actually did. So, although I haven't actually got their main special arts, let's, let's do a um, bit of a proper team here, right? So I'll, I'll do something. I want to use a cat who isn't going to kill everyone straight away, so let's just put Clawhauser in. And Chip, you can see here that Chip and Dale are already got their special quite high. So they're going to fly over here, shoot the bullets, and um, then come out. <laughs> Everybody died immediately apart from Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale actually do have quite a nice amount of health in them as well. So, personally, I think they're, they're obviously going to be fantastic for their skill, which is going to, you know, kill everybody straight away. Um, so let's form a bit of a better team here. So again here, they're going to fly in. They're going to shoot all those bullets. It's such, such a cool move. Da -da 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 -da. It does drop quite a lot of people, mind. So they use their special there. Look at the basic damage of Bolt. And, he, and that boosts that up to do 87 million damage a hit. So I'm actually going to review Chippendale quite, quite... They're quite interesting, in my opinion, guys. I can do this in harder mode now. Chippendale are very, very interesting. Um, their special is... A mad buff it was making bolt do about 75 million damage a hit and um, which is a good 15 million more and it would be really nice on zeus as well so that's definitely a good sort of take on it there guys um but i i guess i want to find this one the next difficulty now i've got sarah upgraded to level eight and i got mr big in here now as well okay so this is going well I'm going to creep up these one at a time, just to make sure I'm not missing out on any trials. I love that move from Winnie where it, where it sort of holds him in. Okay, that was quite easy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tease up a couple here, guys. So the blue team's already been done. So at the moment, it's just the um, red team's been done. So I'm on Unreal. Should we just go straight into the deep end? See if I can do it? Why not? Let's have a look. Let's see what happens. So, okay, let me do a little review of Chippendale whilst this battle's going on. Mr. Incredible's probably going to kill my entire team, actually. Oh, no, he didn't. Sorry. So, Chippendale's special is a very good buff. Um, I, I would like to see it potentially heal as well as just give him a damage boost. But I guess the thing that's happened um, that we haven't had for a while is we haven't just had a, a solid character which has a um, a damage buff. So Chip and Dale excel in that extremely well. And also, guys, Chip and Dale have an absolutely fantastic enter stage move. You saw that they can basically wipe out everybody straight away. If you so, if you're using them to like run through story mode or something, guys. And, you know, like me, I'm a little bit behind on story mode. You could probably just use Chip and Dell and see them just ding, 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 wave after wave, just going through every single mode. So their intro move is definitely fantastic. And so is their special move. So I think they're quite cool. Am I going to work on them? Probably not. But I've done all those in hardest mode now, guys, which is quite cool. I probably won't be working on them just because they don't really fit my play style. But they are certainly a character which is interesting to look at. Now, we, we can't test Raya yet, guys. So with that being said, I'm also going to say it's going to be worth waiting a little bit. But she's in the prize wall and everybody should better get the prize wall up to max. So I'll see you, Legends, in the next one. Like and comment what you think of the new characters.